Hello and welcome. So happy new year. Welcome to 2020. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. Now I didn't do one of these videos last weekend. I put up uh, another video. That's mainly because uh, it was Christmas and there's not really much at all to go up for pre-order. However, today there's a fair chunk of uh, new pre-orders and releases um, up and I'm pretty sure it's going to be jam-packed for the next couple of months. So this video is your way of finding out what's coming up, um, if it's any good, the prices and all my opinions and things on it. And also it's it's an opportunity for you all to talk about it in the comments, of course. So without further ado, let's get straight in there with the uh, community website and um, yeah, going back from sort of uh, mid-December. Uh, they had a fair few articles. There was another Psychic Awakening one. This James Workshop guy is, is starting to uh, make an appearance now. Uh, there's a little bit about Titanicus, um, a rumor engine. Uh, there was Ring Bearers, Rosie and the Gaffer um, from Forgeworld. They were up, uh, I think, last week on the Friday. Um, they look quite nice. And also there were some um, clear resin ring bearers, um, almost like they're, they're wearing the ring, I suppose. Uh, but uh, they look pretty good. Um, and they were from Forge World's website for one week only. So if you're a big fan of um, Lord of the Rings and you wanted those models, then that was your time to sort of get them. There was an article about the favorite novels of 2019. Um, Tech Priest Grom Brindol in stores. Basically, it's to lure you in to um, get you to go into the stores uh, the first day after Christmas. So that might have been Boxing Day, um, up to the Sunday the 29th. My local store is Norwich. I don't know whether these sold out quickly. I, I haven't been there, I, I don't have a clue. Um, but but they were available, and um, Ron Brindle takes some kind of Mechanicus type uh, look um, to it, if you're into uh, Ron Brindle. Um, but I did get the Red Corbo, which is pretty good. Uh, Painting Warhammer 2020, Turn Signals on Land Rover, Reap Your Revenge on Rohan and uh, Warhammer 40,000 Conquest coming to Germany in 2020. Finally, some great news um, that you can start this magazine. You'll be able to get this uh, awesome um, Captain Cassius and all of these models. This is all in the collection, but bearing in mind the whole collection uh, will cost you £640 minimum uh, for all of these. And then that's not including uh, some months where they charge you an extra eight quid for the binder. Um, charge you 20 quid for an extra um, codex thing and there's been other times when they charge you a little bit extra they just charge you direct debit they don't they don't tell you essentially when you set up a direct debit one of the small prints is that they can just change that amount whenever um, that's what you're sort of signing up for they sent me a letter about the silver templars I can't remember silver skulls I can't remember um, about their book it's you know all intents and purposes supposed to be a codex in my opinion um, but they're charging 20 quid for it and I, they sent me a letter saying, do you want to opt out? And I did opt out and I sent the letter back and they still sent it to me and they still charged me. And anyway, that was all resolved, thankfully. But if you think all of this is worth £640, I mean, you could get quite a few armies for £640. That's all I'm saying um, from third party uh, retailers too. If you've got the Dark Imperium set, there's no point in getting this at all unless you want duplicates and you want um, Captain Cassius, which is the... Uh, I say the only um, specific, the only exclusive model. I'm sure you can get him off um, eBay or wherever. But what you're looking at here is the Dark Imperium set sold to you at eight pound a time. Uh, a Rhino, uh, Plague Burst Crawler, a load of scenery. Um, they only show one of the wall sections, but there's actually two in there. And um, there's more pipes as well. Uh, you do get a Repulsor and a Land Speeder and you know, various other bits and bobs and some glues and paints. They don't show the paints there, but I think it's a bit cheeky sometimes when you just get one paint and they charge you eight quid for it, um, or even a couple of paints and they charge you eight quid. Uh, you know, they're definitely making making their money up. And like I said, if you've already got the Dark Imperium set and um, you buy all of your models from third party uh, retailers, um, then you, the value is quite questionable in my opinion. Uh, but if you want something every month to do, and if you're new to the hobby, it's quite a good good way of getting into it. Uh, that's kind of like my overall review. Um, but I've been releasing 
uh, reviews of all these magazines um, you know, since, since they came out. So stay tuned to the channel if you want more information about them. Uh, Model of the Year 2019, uh, this was pretty, pretty fun. Spoilers, so you're obviously watching this video. If you don't wanna know, just go check now and find out or pause the video, go check. Okay, well, if you have done that, I can tell you that Abaddon won um, 2019 model. And it's interesting that uh, now for four years in a row, uh, Chaos models have won the model of the year. What does that tell about Games Workshop? I mean, you know, Marnius didn't get it. Uh, Repute Killiman didn't get it. Um, maybe Lionel Johnson might get it. Who, who knows? I mean, maybe they should stop pushing Primaris and actually focus a bit more on Chaos. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Four years in a row, um, Chaos model was... I mean, that was a bit of a fluke, I think, for that one. But Mortarion and Magnus, definitely. Uh, and now we've got Abaddon as the, uh, the fourth one. And well-deserved, in my opinion. Um, incredible model. I just wish that Games Workshop did a Forge World model of the year. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I'd be very interested to um, vote on that one. Uh, like, break it down. So you have a, like, you have a main, you have a ultimate model of the year, then you have a model of the year for Forge World, and then you have a few subcategories, like um, model of the year for 40K, model of the year for Age of Sigma. There's definitely a lot of models out there um, now that with their release schedule. Um, new from Black Library, Grots and Guardsmen, uh, A Year in the Underworlds, Martin's Legion of Nagash. Coming soon, the Aether War. This is up for pre-order today. It says, um, you know, next week 2020 will kick off in style with not one, but two armies getting uh, a revamp and a new battle box. So it says here, set contains vast array of, of Caradron, Overlords and Disciples of Zinch models, including two new champions available for the first time in this set. whoop de doo um, <laughs> You've also got... Uh, Let's see, got the new battle tomes there. I really do like these um, limited edition battle tomes. I think they're, they're fantastic. They just, the limited edition suits these bigger books. They are bigger books than the, the 40K codexes. Um, having the Slave to Darkness one myself, I, I, I think it uh, lends itself a bit, bit more to it. Um, but as you'll see in my review of that um, battle tome, I do feel like there's big, big spaces in the war scrolls that they could have just put pictures of the models, bigger pictures. Um, I, I think that's wasted opportunity in my opinion. Uh, you've got your cards, you've got your endless spells, you've got your dice. Um, <laughs> lovely, uh, lovely colours there. So uh, yeah, we I will um, be looking at these. Now I'm not sure whether the, all these are new models. Uh, or I think these are have been here before and these you've got the two two new uh, models in there maybe they're all that all that have been around before but um, you have to go on the Games Workshop website and we'll have a look then you've got another Psychic Awakening uh, Dawnbreaker Cohort Tactica so a bit of a tactic tactics here um, for using these lovely looking models I'd love to get ten of them they're just fantastic uh, faction focus Caradron Overlords, a rumor engine, some kind of sword in a sheath there, I think. Uh, big year for tiny armies for Aeronautico Imperialis and um, Titanicus. A year in review with Peachy and Wade. In my opinion, I mean, they did cover a fair few um, box sets and things, but to me, it just seemed like they covered a lot of models and box sets that um, either sold out quickly or didn't sell as well. There are a few glaring emissions in my opinion um, in the, in their review but it's of course it's all biased you know it's just, this whole community website is run by by games workshop and they will funnel you and use the language to um, you know to get you to to buy models of course they're a business that is that is their main goal model of the year results obviously it was uh, Abaddon the despoiler I think Gotrek is um, it was a strong contender too think but yeah I mean, you can see why it's just absolutely fantastic miniature um, and that is going to be a painter's dream for many many years much like the original Abaddon was um, Black Library 2019 highlights and what 2020 has in store uh, new year new army but no new start collecting sets that was a bit strange that they had this other than the Slaves, Slaves of Darkness um, set Disciples of Zinch uh, focus pre-order a wood elf for all seasons now this wood elf is Absolutely beautiful. Look at that artwork there. Um, fantastic. Gloriole, uh, is it Summer Bloom? Yeah, Gloriole Summer Bloom. Um, star player thrower. Absolutely stunning. 
look at the hair with leaves in it as well and yeah fantastic so we'll have a look at her in a moment um, turn signals on Alarm Radar, White Dwarf issue 450 uh, so this is the January 2020 um, you've got Imperial Fists on the front a little bit about Necrons Age of Sigma, Sigma Scars of Slaughter Kill Team Dispositions and then um, this awesome looking full art cover uh, if you, uh, if you um, subscribe I might subscribe in a couple of months, um, we'll see. And then uh, rules preview for Disciples, uh, Zinch Endless Spells. So that's all the uh, news, um, quite a lot to cover because obviously missed last week. Um, I think this is going to be a jam-packed few months really, uh, so stay tuned every Saturday morning slash afternoon whenever, whenever I can do it on Saturday and uh, you'll get a full kind of lowdown and review of what's coming out. Okay, let's go on to Forge World then, and uh, here is uh, Summer Bloom, right here on the front page. If we just go on to New, I think the Heroes of Dunland were last week as well, I want to say. I didn't quite cover them. Um, maybe I did, but they were around for £26. Uh, let's have a look at the pre-orders, which is just Glorial. Uh, it's £19, okay, not too bad. I think that falls in line with the other... Blood Bowl single characters. I love the, the grass effect that they've done, the, the pitch. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> um, but yeah, she is glorious. Um, yeah, lovely miniature. Bit of a 360 version as well, all the way around. <clears throat> yeah. I like how the vines or whatever are up her arm and then around the ball itself. Amazing. So yeah, you can pre-order her for £19 um, from Forge World. Let's go and have a look at what's up for pre-order on Games Workshop's website. Okay, so here we are on Games Workshop's web store. Uh, if we just refresh that. Um, it is 10 o'clock, but they don't have anything about it yet. They may refresh this over the day. So we'll just click on New and Exclusive, and then it is, it is right there, look. So uh, press New Pre-orders, View All and we'll go high to low and right away you can get the Aether or Ether, I think it's Ether um, War, £110 there you've got the core rules for Age of Sigmar uh, you've got so £110 so another one of these box sets where there's two factions and it doesn't look like there's that many minis let's be honest for £110 um, they're pushing these box sets now for over the hundred pounds, which I think is that that breaking point there for for many people. Um, it says it's a massive battle box, but it contains eighteen miniatures. Okay, okay, well, whatever. Um, it says this set contains two armies of miniatures, all for less than you'd pay getting them separately, uh, and including two sets currently only available in this set. They they love doing this. They've done this for quite a few years now. Um, the Endrin Master in Derigable Suit and Magister on Disc of Zinch. You'll be able to build two armies right off the box, uh, play through a mini campaign with three narrative battle plans. Uh, so 18 miniatures. So for the Caradron Overlords, you've got one Endrin Master with a Dirig Dirigable Suit. Uh, the ideal leader for your Sky Fleet is currently exclusive to the set. Uh, six Sky Riggers. So they're uh, these guys, which I think are £25 for three. So you're getting, well that's £50 worth already. You're getting a Grunstock Gun Hauler, which is £30. Uh, so already that's £80. Let's say the character is £25. Let's just say it's £25. Um, so that is £105. So for £5 more, you're getting that little Zinch Army which isn't too bad. I mean, if you collect one of these factions, as always, it's it's best to, you know, split the box um, with a friend if you can. Still 55 pound each is still a, a bit of an asking. You know, it's, it's almost like a start collecting um, box set, isn't it? Let's face it. But it is what it is. Um, that's the uh, models for the Caradrons. Uh, for the Disciples of Zinch, you get a one Magister uh, on Disc of Zinch, six Zangor, 
Enlightened Skyfires, and three Screamers of Zinch. I think it's a bit poor, you only get three, but there we go. And then you get the 41 page uh, Ether War Book. Uh, including lore art, battle plans, aerial battle rules, uh, and more. So this this is very much an aerial kind of um, focused game. Everything's in the sky or flying. Uh, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's that's the the main pre order this weekend. Uh, you've also got the Disciples of Zinc's Essentials. So you get the main battle tome, the cards, the dice, and the endless spells. I do like the endless spells, uh, but I just preferred the Slice of Darkness ones last, last month. Um, you get the uh, limited edition uh, Caradron Overlords book. Uh, it's only 96 pages though, so it doesn't break the 100 page boundary. And the Disciples of Zinch is the same price. It does have a fair bit more content, 120 pages that one. Uh, so that's a bit, bit beefier. You get the standard edition uh, Battle Tomes with the cards. Uh, although you don't get the standard one with the cards for the Zinch, which is quite odd, um, but there you go. Uh, and then you get the, the Battle Terms themselves, which are just £25. The Ender Spells is always £22.50. The dice, which look awesome, in my opinion. I like the fire dice, they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, £20. You've got the e-publications for the codexes. You've got the Lord of Dark Millennium by Dan Abnett. That's a really thick book, hardback, £18. Um, you've got Profits Ruin, £18 by CL. Werner or Werner. Um, you've got the War Scroll cards, £15 for those, and Hammer of the Emperor audiobooks and Darkly Dreaming audiobook and Gloom Spite is now available in paperback for £8.99. Not too bad actually, £8.99 for that. Um, so there you go, not that many pre orders uh, this weekend. I'm hoping that tomorrow, if you check the community website, uh, you'll see a load of things up for Sisters of Battle pre-orders next weekend. I'm, you know, like 80% sure that that's going to um, happen uh, next weekend. That would be great. Uh, so we can get them, um, you know, on the 18th of January, I think, because they did say you would have to wait long. And I think sort of midway through January would be quite a, a good time to um, uh, release release them have them up uh, on the website okay so that's all of the news and pre-orders uh, for January uh, the 4th and uh, welcome again to 2020 I've got a good feeling about this year both for Horus Heresy and uh, for Warhammer 40,000 and for Age of Sigma and Fantasy coming back uh, I've got a good um, good feeling about this year and um, better than I did have for last year anyway what do you guys think of all the uh, pre-orders and the uh, Ether War? Are you going to pick it up? Do you think it's too pricey? Um, what are your thoughts on that? Um, personally, I feel like they should always have the two individual characters separate alongside the box set, uh, rather than have it as some kind of like bait to to you know draw you in, much like the Blood of the Phoenix, because that was quite an expensive set, um, just for the you know if you just wanted the the New Howland Banshees and stuff. More choice is, is always what I'd prescribe to. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.